What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in Steenahatchee. We just made a little pit stop at the Steenahatchee Marina here in Dead Man's Bay. We have Blue Gabe, Fishing Like Tarzan on Instagram, aka Abram, Blue Gabe's son Jake, and the little one, Luca Duke. Right now we're going offshore to hand catch some scallops. This is one of my favorite things to do because it's so relaxing and easy. So we'll take you along for the ride. See you out there. It's a scallop trap. Say. Score. Ooh. I was going to buy one of those. A nice little yes. bait net. <laughs> Just scored on a new what pinfish? No, pin? it's for scallops. Oh, is it? It's a scallop bag. Perfect. That's awesome. I thought it was like a pinfish trap. <laughs> I didn't have to buy one. That works out great. Ooh. So the one thing about scalloping is if you don't know where to go, where all the boats are stacked up, there's most likely scallops. Look how crystal clear this no, water is. Right there. Mm -hmm. I just saw one. Yeah, I Did one. you? There's you could probably see them. One. It's about there's what? Four right foot? Four uh, you foot know deep? what I look forward to the most? A porpoise swimming up the Abram. Oh, me too. I can't wait for so that. So fun fact about look, Tarzan. Going on back here. <laughs> Abram is not a fan of dolphins. He's a little spooked of them. Apparently he had an incident where one was like charging him with his mouth open or something. Yeah. He must what have happened? a nightmare or something. Um, so it, um, I was waiting and it came under a dock and I was cast netting. It, so my cast net was there and he came and was like right here next to me with, swimming with his mouth open. <laughs> He's trying to get so your bait scary. out of your And then I had a bad dream about that. <laughs> that, that night. Hopefully he'll outgrow the dolphin fear. I think they're so cool. Oh, the seagrass is gone now. That's crazy. Now it's a muddy bottom. When I was here, I found that if you found the edge of the seagrass and the sand is where the most were. Yeah, I think we stop right here. Dang. It's so I, clear that we oh, can see them. Here's the more seagrass. I hope I can oh, scout out a couple flounder down there. I did bring a three prong, so fingers crossed. Oh, that I brought my AB Miller. Ho, ho, ho. All right, whoever, catch it, or whoever sees and spears a flounder first gets one. Wait, is it is there a season for flounder here? No, it's open. Right it's now. open. Yeah, there's a flounder got to be 14 inches over here. Oh well, you never said what size they are. Well, they got to be legal. Look at all the white bait right over there. It's a gorgeous day. I have a bad day. feeling Luke's gonna push me. We're laughing <laughs> at him. Abram, if a porpoise swims up, just grab him by his dorsal fin and hang on. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Swim up to the boat and hold on. Bait, oh. If he thinks you're fleeing the scene, he might get you. Oh yeah, they might eat your hair actually. You guys, it That's is hot out here. Oh. This summer is probably one of the most hottest summers that we've had in a long time. And it's just the beginning of July. August is going to be on a whole nother level. So right now in Sinahatchee, it's 87, but with the humidity, it feels like 98 degrees. It's toasty out here. Last time I was here last year with Gabe and his parents, we scalped out a crystal river and the water was a little chilly. Like I had a little skin on and I kind of wish I had like a two mil top on. It was chilly, but I don't think we're going to have that problem today. If one bites my butt, I'm going to be so angry. What would it feel like if the scallop bit your butt? I've had them bit my finger. It would pinch. They washed up on our beach one day. Now it's muddy. Do you guys ever go on the internet and you search something and then you go on a different website and it's like the websites are reading your mind? Well, it's because they are. And that's because your internet provider is allowed to store logs of every website you've ever visited and they could sell that data to anyone they want. And that's why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers. So your internet provider can't see or log whatever you do online. Now, many of you might be wondering, well, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, doesn't that mean the VPN can just see what I'm doing and log my data instead? And you're right to think that. 
However, ExpressVPN uses trusted server technology and it's physically impossible for any of ExpressVPN's VPN servers to store or log any of the customer's information. ExpressVPN only invests in premium servers, making them constantly faster than any other VPN provider. It's raining right now. Come on, puppet dogs, get in the house. Come on, let's get in the house, it's a raining. Not only is it super easy to connect with customer support, which let's be real nowadays, it takes hours to connect to anybody to help you with anything nowadays. Well, not with ExpressVPN, you can get help super fast. And not only can you get help super fast, it's super easy to use. You just download the app and connect with just one click. ExpressVPN is also a top rated VPN provider, rated number one by Mashable, TechRadar, and many more. And to find out how you can get three months free, just click the link in the description below. That's expressvpn.com slash island key. What you got, Jake? Two scallops, I jumped in on them. First two scallops of the trip. So we went ahead and just kind of cruised over here. The water's a little bit more siltier over here, but it's still doable. We're gonna jump in here. We see a lot of broken scallop shells, so hopefully there's some whole ones still here. Jake just pulled up two. Boom. Is that one? Oh, he almost bit me. Is that one a keeper? Or he is, but he's a little small. If we end up catching a bunch of big ones, we'll keep these in the water in this little trap. All right. Turn them Sounds good. Ooh. I cannot wait to get in this water. It's so hot out here. Luke, you getting in? Luke, that's not even your mask, silly. But I can still use it. No, we brought your mask. Where is it? In the bag. <laughs> Trade you. This is yours. Yes. That's the extra mask. How are you by everybody else? You're just getting right there and swim, Luke. It'll be a lot Who's easier. This? Oh, where did that one come from? That must have been um Abrams. Where'd that little net go? Well, we got another one. Abram put one in the boat and I didn't even see it. Huh. So we actually just switched spots. We came in a little shallower and it's a lot more clear. Jake, you got two more? Uh -huh. One more? Nice. Two. Is it dead though? Uh-uh. Oh, it's just moving around? All right. Whew. I got salt water in this eyeball right now. The only thing that sucks about me not having a hood is this mask slips down and pitches my ears, but we're about to get in and see if we can't pick up a few here. print right there is a flounder print so a flounder used to be there i stuck it just in case he was under the sand but that means they're flounder in the area dead so if sand dollars are white they're dead if they're like dark brown they're alive y'all get in we're gonna go back where it's clear i'll just release it abram and jake just found two dead sand dollars and abram has probably about 12 scallops in his little bag so he's doing good
it's on the smaller side. Mm. You're gonna have to go deeper. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody missing a mask and a snorkel? Found it. Well, Luke just got one. He said it was right there, sitting right next to the boat. So, we were trying to look for these scallops in the boat because it's such shallow, clear water, but you really can't see them from the boat because when you're in the water, they're, they almost sneak up on you. You gotta be like right on top of them and you gotta really look in the seagrass. So, we're getting them though, one by one. Just lay in there. Big stingray. You gonna swim fast? He's leaving. Oh, he's gone. He said, "Adios, amigos." Look at Luke in hot pursuit. He's gone. I think we need to get in and go try deeper water. I kind of want to try deeper water too. They're here, they're a little smaller, and they're like, you know, one here, one there. We were picking them, but I do want to try deeper water in a bit. Let's go. It's looking a wee bit silty. It's probably what, like seven feet now? So we're a little bit deeper, and when I mean deeper, I mean we went from three foot to five foot. <laughs> but there is a nice like edge with sand and then grass, so I want to bring that three prong just in case there's a flounder. Thank you. No way. Yes. How can you see like the like flounders on the? on the bottom you just gotta look for their outline the frame of the fish sometimes you'll see their eyeballs sticking up too look at all the fish right there Ooh. there might be a f oh it's mullet that's a nice size mullet let me see if i can spear one. Oh, that's a big one Ooh. 
them. And... <coughs> they just swam that way. It was a mama dolphin and her baby. They just cruised that way. Whew, I did get them on the GoPro. It's a little dirty in the water for you guys to see, but you can definitely see it's too porpoise. Whew, that was so cool. <laughs> that just made my whole scalping trip. Abram, I just saw your favorite animal. Abram wouldn't even let me put him in the water. <laughs> oh, look at the mullet it just hit. Is that what I just heard? Yes, it just jumped a huge mullet. Oh, it's coming to you. Swim over there. You might be able to see it. In between where? To your right. Look at the huge swirl. I don't see it. It just crashed the mullet. Oh, they're gone. Hop in. Oh, my gosh. That sounded like a gunshot. It was so loud. Oh. All right, on to a new spot. One bond. Ooh, the brown one's alive, so we have to let that one go. Oh my god. That is a lot. So instead of collecting rocks, he needs collecting sand dollars. I can go on board. Come show him this porcupine pup. I'm just jumping in on it. Here, put those in the live well. Guy. Huh? I said that was a cute little guy. I thought I found the perfect clam, but it's broke. Did you just break your line? No, I had something cut me off earlier. Stone! What is it? I was just a big flounder. I was stripped on the back of the boat. I'm like, what's that? Massive flounder. Bring him over here. I'm worried to take this thing off. Well, him. Kelly will help you. A good one. He was he was nervous to pick it up. He didn't want to lose it, so I just gave it a good little stone shot in the head. They're in the grass. I, every time I see them, in, the grass. in the grass. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been looking I for one. Good job, Dave. Leave it up to Luke the cannonball, y'all. <laughs> oh, now we got some serious dinner. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Oh. Way to go. Y'all bring any ice for fish? Because we dang sure didn't. We got some, just get some out from under the cooler. We take got, out. we have a whole cooler full. Of, the gator's full, but. We can just I take out the bag. drinks and shove him under the ice because there's nothing really in the ice. It's just all on top. I just went off. I just went off by myself over there for a little bit. We're finding scallops. They're not as big as the ones we did find last year. Uh, last year, last year we were in Crystal River. This year we're in Senahatchee, but they're all about the same size as you guys have been seeing in the video. Put them back in that bucket of water. All the kids, Luke, Jake, are with uh, Heather and Justin over there with their three kids, Hazel, Jensen, and Trey. Um, they're pulling up scallops one after the other. The kids are like, "I got one! I got one! I got one!" So Gabe's over here in the water. He got himself a mask and fins. Whew, we're doing pretty good. It's not, um, we're not finding like a bunch and like big ones, but we're, it's slow pickings, slow pickings, but we are getting the job done. Right, Gabe decided to just get in the water. What you got? Your back is going to be so sunburned. 
Look at all of our little treasures we found. What? How about that snort? What are you doing? What? Uh, hold on. We might need this. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, yeah. Okay, you just found the mother load of scallops or what? You emptied the bag, didn't you? I did not. I'm only picking every other one up. Jeez. There ain't nobody over there, that's why. There's a lot, they're a lot more plentiful over here in the shallower water. That's okay. a half a five gallon bucket. Yeah, we might have our limit now. I gotta wash my shirt. Of course. They like the sand. They get in the edge of the sand yeah. and the grass. Yeah, I definitely find more on the edges. The edges of the grass and the sand, like you said. I just want that flounder to show up, man. That was so sick. I can't believe that just happened. Did you find one? Yes, oh, they're, so, they're babies. Yeah, right, I just threw one back. Let me see it. What is it? A blue crab. They're pretty flexible. I'm gonna just let them be. you just found it must be a shed of a blue crab that's like a perfect perfect molt dang and i found this also what else and i found some of these sand dollars no. they're everywhere it's snack time yeah i know i could use a snack i wonder if it's because like the temperature of the water or something they're all dead that's crazy the one who gets the best cannonball, I'll buy a brand new fishing setup at the bait store. Does that include me? Yep. No! Da, 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 da. Brand new, van no, stall, old salty, do it. it doesn't matter. I'm gonna hit the bottom what if, if you I do jump a cannonball. in first? Go, go, go. You gotta go. get the best cannonball. And we're gonna slow mo it and critique it. Okay. On three. How about y'all have to comment who does the best one? All right. We're going to slow-mo and critique it when Go we get ahead, back Luke. to the house. It's all about technique. That was not even like a two. Yeah, was like a it wasn't a ball. All right. Woo! Woo! I think Jake, I think Jake had Luke beat on that one. All right, here it goes. Oh Y'all have a rain jacket on? She's about to do a cannonball over here. Oh, I, I, I just said I'm going to hit the bottom if I do a cannonball. No, you're in this competition. I hit the bottom, but I still did a All cannonball. Right. Yeah, she's going to get the fans full and the Luke. salty. Ready? Luke, let's go! Luke, let's go! She broke before she hit. She broke before she hit. Oh, I got so much water in my nose. I may or may not have talked him into pushing you. Oh, I God. did a full cannonball. She broke before she hit the water. <laughs> I, I, did, I hate to tell y'all, but I had my fingers crossed when I made that bet. At least <laughs> my lower. Or All right, let's 
just dump the scallop. Let's see how much we got. Wait, I can pull myself up from here, you think? Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't got fins on. Oh! That's hard without fins. Guys, you're gonna kill the scallops. Well, I hate to tell you, but... <laughs> they ain't gonna be live in the frying pan. Alright, let me get my glasses real quick. Oh my god. Definitely got a lot. Oh, that was that was dirty. Hey! That was dirty. Huh? All right, all right. I want to see you. Dump this, dump this. All right, wait. We just dump them in there. Look, there's a big flounder. You don't even see the thing right there. Stop. Honestly, we just dump them in. I guess. No. Oh yeah. Oh, y'all better get back in. We still got about two thousand. A fifth, a fifth of the bucket. There's crab inside this. Um, you know, we have a lot of scallops to clean. Wait, let me have it. Abram yeah. just said he had a remora. I saw the same remora earlier. All I thought about we was bull shark. We saw remora last time we were scalloping too. People what about Justin's scallop bag over there, a kayak? There ain't no scallops in it. <laughs> oh, I see him. All right, look at this. Look at this one. Look how oh, this one's him, him, orange. Out. It's kind of funny because last year we had so many scallops and they were a little bit bigger than these. And I really wanted to like make something with all the shells. I never did. Them shells sat in a bucket for the past like eight months. Finally, I saw them at the curb. Yeah. Gabe, Gabe, the bucket rotted. It did. The bucket just like fell apart. Oh, look at that. This one's <laughs> orange. I know that one's orange. The sand dollars aren't making it in the... Uh, we have like double the amount of scallops from last like to clean last year because last year they were like double the size. Oh oh. God. That was actually pretty graceful for both of them going at the same time. Yay, y'all gotta catch some more scallops. I had done caught half that five gallon bucket. Actually your dad did. Actually I sat under the boat and picked up at least 15. At least 15. Well 15 is about this much of the bucket. Do you have hazel? Remember that thing? <gasps> oh my goodness! How cool that's a big one. This is a horseshoe conk. If you stuck your hand in there, would they bite you? That is really cool. Look at all the growth on the shell. These are my favorite, favorite shells. Awesome. Can I get it? But I need yep. it. Oh, oh, that's so, so cool. pretty. I love horseshoe pogs. I see. Oh, it's so pretty and the so inside's so red. I know. Gosh, Mike, can I get it? Do you want to try to get my ear? <laughs> oh. Hold on. They hurt. I had one bite me on my belly when I had them in there. Oh, he's not biting anymore. We are wrapping up our scalloping day. We did get a five gallon bucket. I mean, it was just shy from our actual limit, but we have way more than we actually want to clean anyway. So we're golden. The scallops are in the live well. You can either throw your scallops on ice or the live well. It really doesn't matter. You just don't want them just sitting dead. So there's storms of brewing um, on shore over here. We got one over here and one on the land there. So we're gonna go back to the Woods and Water Lodge where we're staying, where Gabe is going to try to shoot an axis deer sometime within the next couple days. The kids are worn out. Luke, unfortunately, really, really pinched his finger in the ladder. It's, it's not looking good, but I don't think it's broke, so fingers crossed. But we'll see you guys back on land. As you can see, we're back at camp and it just got done pouring raining. This is just the last little drizzle that's left. The boys are already shucking scallops. So we have our bucket and Justin's bucket as well in here. They went back to the house and they're gonna clean up and meet us back at camp. But, oh my, oh, that cooler's wet. <laughs> we have some work to do. Now, Jensen and Hazel brought me a little treat for Finley back at home. It's a, what are the deer called? Axis deer? It's a little access to your antler. So Finley, this is for you. All right, I might have to do a little time lapse of all this. You might need to help us. I am. Look at that. I don't Wait. even think you shucked one scallop last time we went scalloping. 
Me? Yeah, you. I got them working I'm right now, so don't distract them. <laughs> They're yeah. actually focused and working. Keyword, actually. All right, let's time lapse this someone. process. That's Luke, and that's because he's got a smashed finger. Mm. Yeah, Luke's finger was pretty. At first, when I looked at it, I was like, the tip of his finger might be broke. But I think he's all right. But it is pretty bruised up. He's got no choice but to be all right. Oh, I know. I know. All right. We're going to time lapse right now. So before we get to cleaning all of these scallops, I'm going to show you guys how to clean one. Now this one's already propped open, so it does make it easier. But sometimes, let's see. Sometimes when you put them on ice, they do shut a little bit. So then you're going to have to pry something in there just to wedge it open. But I'm going to do it on an easier one. So it's already open. Now the scallop, I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro, but there's a white piece of scallop meat. And then there's a bunch of brown, like gunky guts around it. Now it's attached to the shell on both sides. So if you just rip this open like this, you're gonna break that meat right in half. Take your spoon, knife, or your little scallop tool, and you're gonna scrape on top of the shell and just scrape one side off like that. Now you can open it. Get rid of that. And then you just wanna scrape all of this, all these guts off. You can use a spoon. You can even use the other side of the shell. You kind of just pull it off like so. It should just peel right off. It's pretty slimy and slippery too. Like that. There you go, and there's your scallop. Such a little piece of delicious meat and a lot of work. Then you just scrape the scallop off the shell just like the the first step, there you have it. Put it with the rest. I have 1% left on my GoPro right now, but we are making progress. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine scallops left, a bucket of guts, and a if whole plate of goodness. If y'all worked as hard as me, we'd already be done. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you just you got here. Go do a voiceover Myself, Abram, and Jake have been cleaning a lot of these scallops. Yeah, but Gabe did like the first half of the, that bucket right I, there, so. I would say a little more than half. Anyways, we got scallops. Going inside, I'm gonna clean these off with uh, some purified water that we have. I might, I usually add a little bit of sea salt in there just to make them, you know, like salt water. Rinse them off and lay them on paper towels, soak up all the juice, and then store them in some Ziploc bags in the fridge. It's the following day here in Sinahatchee and we're gonna go ahead and whip up a little snack appetizer here with our scallops. Let me tell you something, scallops are super easy to catch, however, they make up for it when you have to spend an hour and a half cleaning all the scallops. Super easy to catch, super time consuming to clean. Now, after we cleaned all those scallops out there in the shed, I brought them in, I used purified water out of the machine, a little bit of salt, cold water, and I gave them a really good rinse, laid them out on paper towels so they dried a little bit, stuck paper towel in a plastic bag, and separated them all in the fridge. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little toothpick, putting two scallops on there and putting them on this little toaster tray here. I have some melted butter here. We have some good old Old Bay seasoning because you can't go wrong with Old Bay. That's my favorite. It's come out. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Give it a little stir. I don't know if I have enough butter here. You can never not have enough butter. All right, let's see if I can evenly pour this on all of them. Dun, 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 dun. 
If anything, they're all going to be soaking in this butter anyway. Perfect. I think you need to give them a little dusting. Uh, that's what I'm, I plan on doing that. Boom. And a little bit of, a little bit of extra Old Bay on top. This, this container doesn't come out very well. I gotta do like the shake. I can't like gracefully. There we go. And we have a little bit of lemon for after they're done cooking. So we are whipping out. Hold on, let me bring it out here. Dun, dun. The toaster oven. However, this toaster oven broils, bakes, toast. It's a fancy toaster oven. So we're gonna actually throw these in here and they're gonna broil for probably about six, seven minutes until I think they're done. You know what's cool is with my anchor power pack, we could get one of those things and take it everywhere. On the bow, anything. That's it. We have two at the house. So my anchor power pack too. Oh yeah, I forgot about yours. <laughs> All right, so it's on broil. Uh, 400, probably do it like. Hot and fast. Yeah, 400. And put that on a seven minute timer and let them cook. While those scallops are cooking, I wanna give a huge thank you to Woods to Water for having us stay here. It has been absolutely amazing. As you can see behind me, this is the beautiful lodge that we are staying in. There's three bedrooms, a full kitchen, big bathroom, and then they also have these little cabins that they're gonna be putting in on their place as well. And this is all here in Senahatchee. The kids are out there right now in the woods playing manhunt in the daytime. AKA hide and seek. They keep calling it manhunt, but it's not manhunt because it's not nighttime. But the shooting range is right here. There's a bunch of decoys put up over there, shooting tables. They even have me as a personal chef here. Yeah, there's Blue Gabe getting the grill going. A beautiful bonfire for when it's chilly out here, which unfortunately right now it is definitely the opposite, opposite, opposite of chilly right now. They got the cleaning shack over here and the ant, like, during the afternoons, we'll even see all the deer come up and feed, literally, right behind the lodge. Now, this lodge does offer year-round hunting. They have big white-tailed deer and they have a bunch of exotic deer as well. Myself, Blue Gabe, and Justin, who's the owner here, went on a Axis deer hunt the past two or three days and they whooped our butt. They're such smart animals. We actually did, we didn't sit in a blind, we did a um, spot and stalk. So we were like walking through the woods, searching for these animals and, well, you guys will just have to check out Blue Gabe's channel, see if you got one or not. But it was an epic hunt to say the least. There's a lot of animals here, but the land is so big and there's so much like thick woods that you literally have to hunt for your animals. You know, it was such a cool experience to hunt here as well as right down the street, we went scalloping and this time of year we went shrimping. So this morning we went shrimping today and caught some ginormous shrimp. I mean, every throw, you wouldn't get a net full of shrimp, but you would get like one to like seven just honker size shrimp, which just made up for throwing about a hundred times each. Myself, I threw a net, Gabe threw a net, and Abram, aka Fishing with Tarzan on Instagram, was probably throwing the net more than Gabe and I combined. That kid can certainly fish. He's 13 years old. If you guys want to check him out on Instagram, kid's got it going on with fishing, man. He knows what he is doing. But right now we are going to get back to our scallops because they should be done any minute now. If you guys are ever in the Stenahatcha area or want to go hunt some exotic deer, woods to water here in Stenahatchee. Awesome people. His wife, Heather, their two kids, Hazel and Jensen, adorable little girls. They're like my biggest fans and I'm their biggest fan, honestly. They're such sweethearts, but right now we're gonna get to these scallops. I'm your biggest fan. Are you? I'm your biggest fan. I'll remember that. All right, y'all, let's check on our scallops. They're looking done. Oh, they're looking done. Ding. All right. They're looking tasty. They are. No, it's gonna get buttery. 
I love this little pan. I need to get one of these for our actual big oven because sometimes I just want to make something a little like small and I don't want to like clean a big cookie tray. I need to get one of these. All right, those are super, super hot. We got some lemon. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. There we go. And let them cool down. Where's yours at? Mine? Mine yeah. are right here, yours are right here. No way. I thought you wanted them raw. Those are mine. I'm excited. I love scallops. Funny story is I used to never eat scallops. I was in Island Murata with my dad and brother and we went to the square grouper and I ordered some rice bowl with shrimp. However, when they brought it out to me, it had scallops on it. And I already waited like, like an hour to get my food. They were super busy. So I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just eat it. Ever since that day, I love, love scallops. Now these are bay scallops, so they're a lot smaller than the scallops that you would order at like restaurants or anything, which would probably be sea scallops. Okay, get some more butter. It's gonna be hot. Actually perfect, oh my gosh. Mm. That is so good. So tasty. That's the best way to make them because now you know what you're eating. What do you mean know what I'm eating? Rather than like putting them in a pasta or a salad oh, yeah. or something like that. Well, that's how I am with a lot of seafood especially is because like I like to actually eat like taste like what I'm actually cooking. So when you like mix it into a pasta and stuff, you're literally just eating pasta with some scallops. But this way you can actually taste the scallop. I smell like lighter fluid. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Can't go oh. wrong. Butter. That's probably better than mine yesterday. Yeah. I mean, butter, Old Bay, lemon, cannot go wrong. All right, you've had enough. <laughs> We're gonna sit here and fill up on these scallops. Gabe's actually gonna be cooking a really massive shrimp dinner, aka pun intended, massive dinner, massive, massive shrimp dinner. I don't think there's gonna be any left for Justin, Heather, or the kids. Tell them they didn't cook, they, we ruined it. We didn't cook, I burnt them, I'll say I burnt them. Man, no, I'm we good. have, yeah, we have so many, so many, cause we each got a five gallon bucket. So we got a whole bag here, a whole bag here, and a whole bag there, so. We got a lot of scallops to eat. But right now, this video is ending. You guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video. Be sure to check out some other videos as well. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to check out Woods to Water Preserve here in Stenahatchee, Florida. And we will see you guys on the next one. See ya.